Hey guys, this is the Beyond the Dojo podcast again. I'm Lauren. I'm Jeremiah. Welcome back. Hmm. If you're still with us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't left us already. <laughs> Fun fact, this week I was listening to a completely unrelated podcast and they mentioned something about rankings, which we're not super big into like looking at our numbers and stuff because well, yeah, that totally messes with people's minds. Um, and I, yeah, we're going to brag. I am, like, completely... I don't have, like, accounts on these other listening platforms, so I have no idea how to access, like, rankings and stuff mm. of podcasts, but I looked it up on the Google machine, and apparently a website called Feedspot, whoever that is, ranked us in the top 20 podcasts to listen to in 2021. Wow. Thanks. Which is pretty amazing. We were number so, six. I didn't, I didn't know if we should say thank him or them. Thank you, feed spot person, whoever you are. Also, there were only 19 on that list of 20, so I don't know if you guys can't count or if you're like in a different language and it was being translated and you guys don't count the same or something. But Why do I feel like we're part of a scam now? I don't know. It's not it was legitimate. kind of a spammy looking website. But anyhow, oh boy. what it means is you need to keep listening to us because somebody likes us. As long as someone loves us, they really like we're us. okay. They really, you guys really, really, like, really like us. We might not like us after today. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> today we're going to do kind of a goofy episode. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the website fmylife.com. It still exists. You want to tell the folks what the F stands for? Fudge. Fluffy. Fluff? Fluff my life? Fudge knocker. No. Fudge my life? Flip my life? Like flipping homes? That would be a cool one, flip my life. Well, anyway, use your imagination. So, um, if you search karate on F My Life, there are some really funny little instances that happen to people, so we're going to read some of those. Uh, okay. The first one is called Not So Karate Kid. Today my mom told me to do karate with her, and so I said no. Now my mom won't let me do anything until I go do karate with her, FML. Also, by the way, the reaction is, I agree your life sucks or you deserved it. He deserved it. He deserved it. Definitely yeah. deserved it. Yeah. Go do karate with your mom, okay? Today, after 10 years of intense training, I earned a black belt in karate. When I told my mom, she asked how long it took me, then laughed and sarcastically remarked, wow, so impressive. Okay, seriously? Ads popping up. Wow, so impressive whilst slow clapping. Oh, FML. Wow. <laughs> I agree. His life sucks. It takes a long time to get black belt. Yeah, I, yeah, his life sucks. Yeah. yeah. Well, it took him 10 years. I wonder what style he was doing. I wonder if she knows Taekwondo. Maybe. <laughs> she was like, wow, maybe 10 she's years in, Maybe she's in some, like, American American open style karate. And, maybe, maybe. And that's, the, uh, that's why she was thinking, oh, it should have taken you 10 months. Why did it take you 10 years? Maybe her girlfriend's grandson just got a black belt in a year. Also, <laughs> like, mom, you've been taking this kid to karate for 10 years, right? Unless this is, unless this is an adult. It's probably an adult. That's probably why she's probably was slow, yeah. Probably an adult. What a jerk. Well, there you go. <laughs> Today, a few years after getting mugged, inspired me to start hitting the gym and taking karate classes. I was mugged again, this time in front of my girlfriend, who I actually met at the gym. I was <laughs> knocked out with one punch. It was the same mother, the same mugger with the same neck tattoo, FML. <laughs> I agree, his life sucks. Yeah, no, he deserved that. You think he deserved that? Oh, yeah, if it's the same guy. You got mugged Are you serious? twice by if the he knows same the, guy. Listen, if he knows the net tack, uh, net tack too, mm -hmm. he might know the guy. That's like a very what picturesque like movie scene, like... <gasps> I recognize that tattoo. No, Zooms in no, on no, the tattoo. No, 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 no. I'm saying, obviously, the mugger knows him. Or maybe he... He, he, he mugged him twice. Maybe it's a very small town, and there's, like, only one mugger, and he gets everybody. Maybe he, it's uh, that. It might be that more well, than everybody should know him anyways. <laughs> but how do they have a karate place and a gym in such a small town? I know. Dude, he deserved that. Dude, that's, that's crazy. He deserved that. <clears throat> this one's called Senpai Noticed. Today, my... Oh. Today my period started. It wouldn't be a big deal if it hadn't happened while I was in my karate class practicing kicks and if the guy I had a crush on hadn't informed me of it after chuckling FML. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I agree, your, your life sucks. Your life sucks, dude. Your life totally sucks. <laughs> we, we, we referenced that briefly on the one of the Karate Women podcasts. 
guys, so you just do not know the struggle of being female and dealing with all the things. I can only imagine how it is also, like, once you've had children and are breastfeeding, too. Mm. Doesn't you get all that to worry about? And mm. Anyhow, hopefully there's no children listening to this episode. They're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what is all this woman stuff you're talking about? Yeah, your life sucks, dude. <laughs> Today, while I was out walking with my girlfriend, I got beaten up and called an abuser by a gang of women who noticed bruises on my girlfriend's arms and legs. The bruises are from her karate class, FML. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, your life sucks. <laughs> yeah, because where's the girlfriend at? If you're walking with the girlfriend and a bunch of girls jump you and your girlfriend has does karate, what is she doing? She's sitting yeah, there watching? I know. Is she like, yeah, you can, Dude, you can yeah, go just, after him. Yeah. Or maybe it's a situation where she's like, hey, boyfriend, you need to come do karate with me and he won't come, won't come, won't come. And then so all it gets of a sudden, all her classmates in there to jump on him. Maybe it was her classmates or maybe she really was like, you know what, let's, so let's so let him get beat up so that he'll want to come to karate with me from now on so he doesn't get beat up by women. He got yeah, you know, I'll tell you what a man's mind thinks like. It's like, yeah, I got beat up and my girlfriend who takes karate sat there and watched me. Obviously, karate is not something that's going to help me out. <laughs> <laughs> her attitude sucks. Yeah, she's... Bruises she's, from a karate She's class. not black belt material. Uh, let's see here. Sizes and everything. Hmm. Today I attempted to threaten my daughter's boyfriend to keep him from breaking her heart. I am a 230-pound former soldier. He is a karate black belt. My family watched me get beat up by a 120-pound teenager. FML. You deserved it, fuckboy. Oh, oh, watch what? your mouth, dude! Sorry. I can't say F my life! I'll have to go and edit that, edit that out. Nah, well, we'll just slip it up. Fuckboy. Um, I said I, ag- I agree his life kind of sucks. How old is he? So he didn't say how old the kid was, so that doesn't really help. But he's only 120 pounds. Literally only just a little bit heavier than I am. Yes, yeah, you deserve that. You think so? Oh, yeah. You try to strong arm somebody, you're, you, you, oh, you're Mr. Man now. You're Mr. No, Man, he's an ex-soldier. Was, uh, well, okay, no, no, no. Threatened the my father, daughter's boyfriend. The, the father threatened the daughter's boyfriend. Right, and then he turned around and got his butt beat by, by the, the boyfriend. boyfriend right. Which he deserves. Why? Because he's a punk. Because the dad's a punk. Yeah, he thought he's gonna, bu- he, dude. He thought he's gonna bully somebody because he's an ex marine, probably. So he goes, and he's all like, oh, brr, brr, right, and then this dude's like, yeah, okay, whatever. He probably said, shove it and kick his ass. <laughs> That's messed up. Um, today I witnessed my karate instructor whimper and practically piss himself as a guy walked up to him in the street and demanded his wallet. What a total waste of hundreds of dollars worth of lessons, FML. <laughs> okay, so. Honestly, though, like, if he doesn't say if the guy had, like, a weapon that was coming up to him, because I probably would have about peed my pants also, but, see, karate instructor whimper and practically pee himself as the guy walked up to him on the street. Eh. You All know. right, so, this is my question, is, like, the student was observant to know that somebody about to go mug my karate teacher. Mm-hmm. Where was the karate teacher's ninja skills? Mm-hmm. Why didn't he notice the guy coming up and then be like, hmm, time to sidestep? Secondly. Mm-hmm. Criminals don't go after like hard targets. So he, this, in a lot of cases, this is very true. They so he not probably hard was. Targets. Yeah, he's probably looking pretty soft. Yeah, could be. So the question, the, the question now becomes, what kind of karate instructor really was, was he? You know? Yeah. So um, you deserved it. You deserved. Sorry. It. I mean, well, I mean, I don't know. Some people get suckered into it. Like, like that goes back to like you don't really know what kind of stuff a dojo is teaching if you've never been exposed to martial arts. That's what sucks about it. Is yeah. like. You think it's legit because all of his loyal followers act like it's legit and he's using his chi powers and they're falling on the ground. And then, you know, he gets mugged and then you realize, oh crap, I wasted a lot of money here. At least it wasn't thousands of dollars. (laughs) Um, Today, out of habit from 12 years of karate classes, I bowed to my teacher as I exited my classroom. My chemistry classroom. FML. (laughs) I agree, your life sucks. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell oh, you. How many times have we said us or... I know. Oh, I can't God. tell you the number of times I've sat in church where people are like, amen, and I'm like, us. <laughs> <laughs> or had conversations with someone yeah. where that's what came out. <laughs> right, yeah. No, totally get it. It legit happens. Yeah, you deserve it. Uh, today I decided to try karate in an attempt to roundhouse kick a hanging boxing glove. I knocked over a lamp, lost my balance, and pulled down my curtains. My neighbor then looked through the window, started laughing, and yelled, Kung Fu, Kung Fu Pala! FML. <laughs> okay, you deserved it. Yeah, you deserved it. <laughs> That's great. That's a massive... That's great. <laughs> How can you be that clumsy, also? Dude, 
Have you not seen any of our students? That's true. We, yeah. we're, and we're pretty neat cl- clumsy, too, so. And, like, you know, we definitely make fun of them whenever they are clumsy. Oh, so yeah. everything's, everything's right in the world. Yes. Yeah. It's our bonuses. So you deserved it. Mm-hmm. Today at karate, my sparring partner thought it was completely okay to surprise kick me in the vagina. He saw me doubled over in pain. He was completely surprised. Apparently, he thought it wouldn't hurt because I have no penis. FML. Um, I agree your life sucks. From experience, th- yeah, gone to the hospital, all that kind of stuff, not good. Guys, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Sometimes chicks have to wear cups too, <laughs> okay? Oh, God, they're, he's an idiot. Yeah, yeah, that was really dumb. He also, deserves, yeah, he deserves also, to get kicked in the balls. Well, okay, she, she did say it was a surprise kick, but, you know, watch out for the kicks, dude. Honestly, yeah. like, for me, the distancing thing with people being so much bigger than me, I don't want anybody kicking at me anyhow, because even if they kick me in the stomach, like, it's going to totally suck, or in the leg or anything, mm-hmm. so watch the kicks anyhow. Um, today I was telling my aunt that I had achieved my blue belt in karate. Looking at my short hair, she says, you're going to end up a lesbian. Thanks, Aunt L. Love you too, FML. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I agree. Is that, that, is, that a, is that a thing though? Do I, I, have, is, do, I don't even get like the the, the connection between well, the I two think, at all. I think it's the, the implied butchiness. Okay. Instead, and you know, I'm wondering if that's a thing. But like, were there okay, so there are stereotypes with certain sports, like a lot of people look at softball and like they're kind of butch and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do people look at karate like that too? That's people, what I'm asking. People look at lifting like that sometimes, right? lifting weights. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like even body, female bodybuilders. Yeah. You know, so I'm obviously wondering... all of the stereotypes are misplaced. I mean, there's always some truth in some ter- stereotypes, but by and large, they're misplaced. But I've yeah. never heard of this with karate. Well, they over sexualize uh, female athletes, karate athletes especially. Yeah. You well, that's, that's see, that's the exact opposite though. Mm. I don't know. I guess it depends on what era you come through. Well, we still love you. Okay. Um, today I was showing some new karate moves in the park to my friends. I mimed a punch behind a girl walking past to show my technique and control, but she must have seen me. She turned around and kicked me in the stomach. To add insult to injury, her technique was better than mine. FML. <laughs> you deserved, deserved it. <laughs> Douchebag. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, we were always told to never really talk about the fact that we were in karate. So the majority of my friends literally never knew that I was in it. Actually, as a, mo- as a matter of fact, a lot of people didn't even know until um, after we were out of high school because of like stuff on social media where we're like advertising things yeah. or I like showed karate stuff or yeah. went to karate events yeah. and stuff. Anyhow, I don't know. That was different for me. I mean, yeah, Japan looks at it as no different than any other sport. Right. So. Well, I think the fear was people will challenge you to fights and stuff here. Yeah, so that's you know, yeah. Well, some people people are crazy. <clears throat> Hmm? Some people are crazy. Yeah. Um, today I have been left home alone. The electricity has cut out and I am petrified of the dark. I am stuck downstairs making karate noises every few minutes to scare off creepers, FML. <laughs> so you're like ki in the dark? What's wrong with people, man? It's really weird. That must have been a very young kid that did yeah, that. Yeah, hopefully. Well, you deserved it. Okay. Yeah. Get over, get over your fears. Now why'd you karate scheme? There's other things you could do. Well, I mean, I guess if you make... I mean, it, would karate sounds be scary to someone? I don't think they would be. I mean, if you're, like, in the dark, that would just be kind of weird. Yeah, it's just weird. Today, a karate dojo opened under my apartment. It's like living in a Bruce Lee movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your life sucks. <laughs> I agree, your life sucks. <laughs> oh, my God. You're never going to, like, be able to watch a movie again or sleep or anything. Be <laughs> slamming their freaking feet on the floor. Mm-hmm. key eyeing if they're that kind of place. Uh, today in my karate dojo, I was being taught how to fall properly. My sensei instructed us not to f- not to fall with our hands out because it could sprain our wrists. As I was getting ready to help demonstrate a backwards break fall, I actually fell over. Guess where my hands <laughs> went? <laughs> 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 well, um, yeah. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I, I kind of agree. Your life sucks because, like, I mean, we practice falls, but. Dude, it's hard. I <laughs> So I was working with a, a couple of ladies doing a private self-defense class recently, and that's one of the things we practiced was being able to fall without, like, dying. And literally, one of the chicks, like, pulled a muscle in her chest. Like, how that even happened, I have no idea, but literally, like, right on her pectoral, she tensed up and fell. 
I mean, and she fell properly. It just, she was so tense that she literally pulled a muscle and it was strained for weeks. So, uh, you know, I, I kind of feel you there with the falling. <laughs> yeah. Obviously more different. Practice. More practice falling. Today I was propositioned by an incredibly pretty girl. I'm a 24 year old virgin. She's my best mate's girlfriend. She tells him everything when drunk and he's a black belt in karate. This could officially be classified as torture, FML. What? What? I uh, just move on. She was so okay. stupid. I don't know. That was kind of weird. That was like some dude's fantasy. Post. I think he's afraid that he's going to get in a fight with the guy. It was weird. Um, so, yeah, you deserve it. Today, I picked up my six year old son after the karate class. I'd signed him up for the holidays. As he got out, I could see he was disappointed, so I asked him what was wrong. It's lame. We're not even going to learn how to make fireballs. FML. I agree. <laughs> Your life sucks. We learned how to make fireballs on day one. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'll, awesome. He's I'll, six? Okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe they'll, instead of the fireballs, they'll do like Kamehameha waves or something. Ooh. That would be pretty cool. I just want to say that the end of Hangetsu totally looks like you're doing a Kamehameha wave. Very last move. Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. tell me if I'm wrong. Okay? That's what it looks like. You're mm -hmm. Kamehameha in the ground. Yes. Today I tried to impress my girlfriend by punching through a piece of old drywall karate kid style. What is that? Like, like super, never mind. As it turns out, the drywall was actually a thin piece of concrete. I now have a busted hand and a girlfriend with a new st story to tell all her friends. FML. You deserve you it. You deserved it. You deserve that, you idiot. Wow. Tried to punch through a piece of drywall. And honestly, why do people think that's impressive? Oh, I did it when I was around friends, but not to like impress anybody. It's just because it's fun. Because you smash something. It's it's a Breaking bird. things is it's fun. fun. <laughs> smash. Hulk <laughs> smash. smash. Karate guy smash. Uh, today I was at the extremely crowded gym when someone came up behind me and shouted in my ear, scaring the living sh out of me. I jump into a karate pose in front of everyone. No one was behind me. It was a new song starting on my headphones. <laughs> a trainer asked me. <laughs> a trainer asked me if I needed an ambulance. <laughs> Oh, you deserved it, dude. You totally deserved it. <laughs> oh, boy. So this is why earphones are not always a good thing. If you're outside by yourself, guys, no earphones, because... <laughs> oh, my God. Is that the last one? Oh, my gosh. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever had any, any of those FML things in your life? I don't know. I can think really hard. Any of those F my life moments? No. Oh, I did. I totally did. What the, uh... Um, I don't know. Did I have a different one? Um, Tell me about it. I assumed it was the period thing. Was on. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Um, so, <laughs> I was at a, a seminar, and that weekend I was going to be testing for Sondon, mm. and I was also part of this, like, instructor program thing, so I was one of, the, kind of, like, the leaders of the weekend. So, um between classes for some reason they, it's like an hour and a half class or an hour and 20 minute class they give you five minutes to take a break well i had to pee all right my lady had to go to the bathroom so there's one bathroom so i'm wait or two bathrooms but they're both full so i'm literally waiting in line for the bathroom have my pants untied waiting for the bathroom <laughs> and then the instructor called for us to line up so i'm holding my pants my pants are like still untied and then he's like lauren come warm the class up so I'm like, oh God, I don't have time to tie my pants. So I'm walking to the front with my pants untied and I led this entire warm up, jumping up and down and everything with my pants untied and falling down. And I'm like, oh my God, can I please go to the bathroom? I think I lasted that whole entire class without going to the bathroom, but I did finally tie my pants. Didn't lose my pants though, but it almost happened. It was very close. They were, I was holding them like this, like up at my waist while I was jumping, so. Yeah, that was almost really bad. Why would anybody give you just five minutes? Um, that's just how this particular organization does it. Mm. So that's what we did. We had five mm. minutes to go to the bathroom, and I'm just like, mm, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go. Good job. You didn't have any. You never had any of those. No. No. He'll no. probably think of it after this podcast is over. So in Japan, mm -hmm. you uh, when you're on the city team, they give you a little patch that has the city name. Mm -hmm. And 
I think mom didn't have time to put it on. Mm-hmm. And it's just a little iron thing. <clears throat> mom didn't have time to put it on. I was a kid at the time. Mm-hmm. And it was just an iron thing. So I put it on myself. Mm-hmm. And I had it face. <laughs> had it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like, no, that's not right. Dad <laughs> gave me another one. <laughs> kind of looked at me like. Gaijin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was one of those dumb moments. I was like. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So, so I don't know how the heck I did it. I just, I had it on backwards. Me, yeah. You like iron it on upside down or something? I think I might have. I might have had like I don't know what how I did. I just remember them looking at me going no, <laughs> <laughs> and giving me another off. give me another patch. I was like you, you do that again. <laughs> oh, man. So that was like the worst of it. Yeah. Um. I mean, everybody farts in front of people. So. Everybody farts in front of people. No, everybody don't. No, they don't all. Oh man, I was like, dude, I was a gaseous kid, so. And then being gaijin, so I'm like three times bigger than everybody else. So when I fart, you know, they rumbled. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't hide them in the middle of a class, you know, because no Japanese, they don't talk during class. You know, it's just the sensei in here. <laughs> everybody would look at me and I'd be like, oh, God. It was you. <laughs> it was me. Was that, like, that would happen at the old dojo. One of the students would fart and I would just be like, dude, like, we all know that it's you, but I would just keep talking. So the kids were just like, <laughs> like laughing like they knew who it was. And I'm just like, okay, okay, let's try to ignore this, but... Yes, done. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, so what you working on? Uh, I started working on Chinte. Mm-hmm. Uh, just because I'm going to work on that ending. Mm-hmm. So, and then... That, that alternate ending from yeah. season six? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, so that's Snapkick. For mm-hmm. some reason, today was the first day in forever. It actually felt... When I was working on my front kicks, there was a point where... The, the kick became it felt completely different like it, it obviously was a lot smoother a lot more effort mm-hmm. effortless mm-hmm. Um, I was able to do that once on my left leg today mm-hmm. where I was like oh mm-hmm. okay that probably won't happen again mm-hmm. so hopefully there is a way that Rick Houghton does front kicks or like those inside cutting kick mm-hmm. things and he's had us do it at seminars but for some reason, the way he describes it, with that particular whipping motion, doing it with your leg, like mm-hmm. it feels really good. Whenever I'm able to like relax my leg and kick that way, I always feel a whole lot better. Like it goes out easier, it comes back easier. I feel like it's more controlled mm-hmm. rather than like that very stiff staccato, like trying to kick out and control the whole thing. Yeah, I think today I finally had the articulation of time for yeah. it, where it came out naturally and really smooth. Um, mm-hmm. Lately, my side snap kicks have been a lot lighter mm-hmm. not so forced mm-hmm. and i think today was the first time i actually might have hit close to the correct path okay i've been told that with side snap kick is a very small path that's really good that right. will feel really right and everything else will have some kind of um long-term is- issues if you keep on doing it that way right so i feel like i might have hit it today but then again you never know so mm-hmm. yay me how yay. about you um well, I have a laundry list, very long, of things I'm working on in Conquer Show now. But um, one of the things I try to focus on this week is, um, I don't know how to say it other than like better kime at the end of a seven punch, but mm. essentially like controlling my abdominals and breathing and torso better mm-hmm. and having more of a contraction at the end of the technique. Because I've focused so long, I mean, for, all, for years on being relaxed and, you know, just moving fluidly trying to um, relax in a lot of ways, but then there's certain things that have become flaccid, like my hikite kind of flops all over the place, and then I'm not getting a lot of tension in my in my core musculature to kind of help drive the technique in. So basically working on coordinating, contracting through the abs, but then also pulling back on that draw hand so that it's not like flopping all over, like back and forth mm-hmm. at the end of the technique so I look like a beginner. So that was actually kind of the main thing I worked on this week. A couple other things too, just like with general positioning and, and paths still mm-hmm. in Conquer Show, stuff that just hasn't really stuck with me yet. Um, but that step and punch was the main thing. I swear to you, if I can ever just get step and punch right, if I can just get an Oizuki correct one time, I'll be so happy. Mm. Because it's going on like five years yeah. I've been working on this, okay? I think... A real famous JK instructor of Saka Sensei said this. You just said, speak louder because it's not going to pick you up. <clears throat> Sorry, I, th- I said I think a JK instructor, maybe Osaka Sensei, or um, I can't, I might be off, but he said uh, karate is always key. Yeah. You know, that, that, that's what it is. Yeah. And There's just so much there, like so much yeah, coordinating, coordination, and control, and like 
you know, relaxing at the right times, tensing at the right times, and speed, power, like all of these different things you can add to it. So. Yeah, and then changing the timing of it, and then the changing when you change the timing of it, you have to change the coordination of it. Mm-hmm. You know, that idea of like that uh, reverse punch step in kind of feeling. Yeah, well, it's not you... really noisy key then, but yeah, I get you saying. But it is. It's ca- classified as a noisy key though, still. We'll see what people do. I hate yeah. to tell you that. Yeah. Right or wrong, that's what they classify it as. Yeah. <laughs> so, that. But that's what I'm working on. Yay. So, yay us. Yay us. Well, thanks for listening. Uh, be sure to like our podcast if you're on YouTube, or rate it, or share it, or whatever, or leave us a review. I did hear from somebody else who listens to our podcast that you can rate it on iTunes. I don't know how else you can rate it. Like I said, I'm kind of like mm. illiterate with this stuff. Yeah, and I, I know but anyhow. Less, so. Yeah. I, right think, I think what YouTubers say is, like, subscribe, and like comment. Like and subscribe and comment so that Thanks. YouTube will show our videos to more people. But if you're on the other platform, same thing. Share it and all that kind of stuff. Thanks, guys, for Thank listening. You. Bye.